Dear Jennifer Lawrence, I hope this letter finds you in good health and spirit. The general agreement seems to be you are a beautiful actress with talent beyond your years. A once in a generation kind of individual who wields the sort of staying power akin to Meryl Streep. You're the new Meryl Streep. I'm not the first to say this. That's legitimately what I've heard. Look at you, already collecting Oscars. You're winning the hearts of audiences and being one of the most successful people of our generation. That's why I'm going to do you a favor. You're welcome. I'm going to tell you about the role that a hundred years from now will be considered your signature performance. She's a real person. You know how well biopics do. And her name is Stephanie Loeb. She is my sister. Born August 31st, 1989. Almost around the same time you were born, but a year before. She is one of the brightest minds of our generation. Fact. As I write this, she's finishing her PhD in experimental nanophysics at Yale. And it's not been the easiest road. I don't need to tell you that, being a young woman in a field dominated by old men, that this isn't easy. And yet we both know that group of old men who make up the majority of the academy love to see geniuses overcoming adversity. Frankly, the screenplay writes itself. You see, she started university as a joke. She took it seriously, but people didn't take her seriously. By the end of September, University of Toronto freshmen had adopted the saying, that's as crazy as the blonde girl in physics. In a class of 200, she stood out just by being herself. And out of that 200, she now stands apart as having gone the farthest and her work having done the most good. All the minutia of her science escapes me. If I could even explain her research, I'd feel like a genius. It's a complicated web of fields. Fields. You see, she's had the big picture in mind from the get-go. It's why she did a sidestep master's in environmental engineering, so she could combine that knowledge with the understanding of nanophysics to build and improve water filtration systems. Now, not only does she believe clean drinking water is the right of every person on the planet, she sees it as a problem she can actually solve. Why look for God particles in Switzerland when you can build carbon molecular structures that concentrate sunlight and purify polluted waters? It sounds like magic to me, but she's doing it. And I wish I could explain it better. This is why her biop will have a team of scientific consultants. I assume she will be too busy continuing her work to be one of them. So sure, maybe she's only lived the first act, and Miss Lawrence, You'll be in your 50s, which will then be the new 30s, when you win your fourth Best Actress Oscar for portraying her. This leaves so much of the film unwritten. But everybody knows who you are now. And only a smattering of ivory tower academics are talking about my sister. So I thought it was only fair I would give you a heads up. When my baby sister saves the world with the power of her brain, I want you to be the cool one. The one who can say, I knew about her nanoparticle load filters before they were on the cover of Nature, Popular Mechanics, and Time Magazine. <laughs> when people stop asking me if I, Matt Lowe, have an aunt named Lisa, I do not, and start asking if I have a sister named Steph who helps save the world, it might be too late for you. The big studios might be thinking Emma Stone is right for the part she is not. Miss Lawrence, if you read this, get out ahead of the crowd. You can be her number two fan. I've already called dibs on number one. All the best. Thank you.